Today we're looking at the Yukos tripod stand with Bluetooth remote. The Yukos tripod stand is a versatile piece of filming equipment. It comes in both black or white and can handle action cameras like GoPros as well as typical smartphones like the iPhone 11 I've got pictured here inside an OtterBox. The packaging on both models of the Yukos tripod stand are almost identical, but I'm going to open one of these up and see what's inside. Before we even open the box, you get an idea from the packaging that this tripod stand is going to extend to up to 62 inches, which is going to be almost at eye level for most people standing on the floor, which is much larger than a lot of the stands we've seen or ones you've seen me use. We'll get into the box and check the contents out. You'll get an idea right away of how versatile this stand actually is. So right away, one of the first things that we're going to notice is a GoPro attachment for action cameras. So that's going to be really helpful. And you'll notice that it's got the universal screw that's going to fit most camera equipment as well. So even the pieces alone have a bit of versatility to them. So we'll put that aside. This is an attachment that's going to go on top of the stand. And this has the universal screw as well. And the option to be able to hold our phone in portrait or landscape mode. So I'll show you how that works shortly. It has an adjustment feature that's going to allow us to put phones of different sizes right up to what you saw at the beginning of the video. I'm using an iPhone 11 with an OtterBox, and it's really rare to see a clamp like this as a part of a stand that easily can hold a phone with that size already in a case. So we'll set this aside as well. And we see the remote unit for the stand. This is actually going to clamp onto the stand itself, and I'll show you how that works shortly. We see a bag that's going to be like a carrying case for our stand so we can keep it in good condition. I'm always happy to see things like this. The last thing that we're going to find in the box, of course, is a instruction manual that's going to help us operate our stand and get the Bluetooth connected. We'll get the stand itself out of the packaging. And it's a little bit heavier than you might expect just looking at it. It's uh, apparently an aluminum plastic alloy. I don't know enough about it to understand the details. But I'm going to show you how easy it is to extend the stand right away. We've got an adjustment screw that's going to either tighten or loosen. Once we loosen that up, we can start to pull the stand apart. And like I said, this is going to go as far as 62 inches if it's standing on the floor with the tripod legs that you expect from a stand like this, of course. Once we've got the stand at the height we'd like, we can just tighten the screw and this is going to hold in place. If you want to attach a GoPro, it's as simple as using the GoPro or action cam attachment that connects to that universal screw. The only thing you want to keep in mind is this dial here is what's going to keep that screw tight. So this is really cool because you'll be able to move the device around and tighten it afterwards. So I'll get it fairly tight right now. We'll attach a GoPro to it. To get it ready, we're simply going to take out the screw that we know holds the action cam together. Your GoPro might be newer than mine. I'm using a 5 here, and it's this easy to get the GoPro onto the stand. Then we can tighten in whatever direction we want and know that a simple knock isn't going to move the camera. If you're going to use your smartphone, the first thing we're going to do is put the attachment onto the stand and we'll tighten that as well. You'll notice on the back, there's a screw right here that we can use to loosen and then move the stand so that we can have portrait mode if we'd like to. 
and we can push it back. It's got stop, so it basically has a couple of ways you can put it. But you can bet it'll be either vertical or horizontal without too much effort. We tighten the screw on the back and that holds our attachment in position. Now we can size it for our phone. I'm going to attach an iPhone 11 with an OtterBox. So I've just opened the clamp as far as it will go, but all you have to do is tighten it. And again, it's really great that it can hold a phone this size with a case around it. Just like we did with the GoPro, we can loosen the dial here and move the camera around. Once we tighten it, we get to a point that a simple touch isn't going to move it. And it's just as easy if we wanted to put the camera in portrait mode instead. You'll want to be in the settings for your Bluetooth on your phone. I'm using an iPhone. Your procedure will be similar if you're on an Android. And we want to turn on the Bluetooth remote just with a little on switch on the side there. And you can see that the iPhone is looking for it. AB Shutter 3 is what we're going to connect to. We're going to pair it and we should be ready to go. And this Bluetooth remote is literally just for either snapping pictures or starting and stopping the video recording, but it's this easy. One press starts the recording, another press makes it stop. If we want to take a photo, it's just as easy. The stand comes with a convenient place to keep the remote very close at hand. There's one more adjustment on the tripod that we can use and it's on the side here. And what this does is allows the top part to tilt back and forth. One of the benefits is if you wanted to use your GoPro in portrait mode, that would be the way to get it done. And of course, that feature allows us to use the whole system as a selfie stick, whether we're using our GoPro or our phone. That's a look at the Yukos tripod stand with Bluetooth remote that comes in both white and black. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I hope you'll give it a thumbs up and share it with somebody who you think would like to see it. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about this particular tripod stand. And if you're new here, I hope you'll consider subscribing so that you don't miss my next video. Please turn on that notification bell and I'll look forward to filming more videos with my new Yukos tripod stand. We'll see you again soon from KevinK.com. Take care. Bye-bye.